For the longest time, the only memories I had of that year were of little Billy from the eighth floor floating dead in the pool, and how angry the rest of the tenants were when they drained and filled the pool with cement, or how that summer the heat dragged its endless skin across our bones. Memory is the funniest character in this story. When I think of that year, no one has a face. Memory is an asshole. It locked my keys in my car. It stole my wallet. It's fluent in English and fucks up everyone's name. It stopped watering the plants and took my grandmother's whole body. I wake up every morning thankful that my apartment did not burn down, that the kettle whistling into the night was just my mind filling the silence. The first memory I had of being molested did not come until nine years later. At first, I thought it a dream. I thought it a movie. I thought it was my mind filling the empty spaces with noise. I was just sitting on a bus, staring at a stranger's hands. My memory has failed me. I look for her name and only see hands. I look for her face and only see hands. They say who? They say how? 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 How could you not know? How could you not remember? How could you sleep with her hair in your throat? How could you? How could you? How could you? Give us her name and we will give you back your childhood. Show us where and we will show you how to heal if it's true. What they say about memory being a series of rooms, then behind some locked door, a wicked apothecary, her fingers trapped in jars, her hair growing like wild vines along the wall somewhere. In that story, I'm still a boy. I am nine years old, filling my body with cement to drown out the ghosts. I'm a statue of a boy. I'm 23, and all I do is sink. All I do is look for a haunting. My memory, an exorcism. My memory, a hallway of locked doors. My memory, the sun bleaching away the shadows. They say, give us proof. So I give them my body. They say, give us details. So I give them my body, which is to say, if you cut me open, if you dissect this trauma, you will find a pair of handprints, a nine-year-old boy fossilized in cement.